write down the coefficients of x, y and constant in the first line and the coefficient of second equation in the second line. Find out the point of intersection of any two lines and substitute that point of intersection in the remaining other line. If it is equal to zero, then we are going to say that the three lines are concurrent. Rule of cross multiplication for 2x minus y minus y is equal to zero. First equation and third equation 4x minus y minus 7 is equal to zero. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of basic mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, Faculty Department of Mathematics, Vidashram Pew College, the Temple of Excellence. Today in this session, I am going to discuss regarding very important concept that is point of intersection and concurrency of lines. Now, let me discuss regarding the very important concept that is regarding point of intersection of two lines. So, the point of intersection of two lines, now let us consider two lines like the two lines a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and another equation a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. To find the point of intersection of these two lines, so to find we are going to use a very important concept that is called RCM rule of cross multiplication. Using RCM rule of cross multiplication, we are going to find the point of intersection of these two lines. Now, how to apply the rule of cross multiplication? Just write down x, y and 1 in the first line and write down the coefficients of first line and second line. So, write down the coefficient of equation number 1 and equation number 2 below x, y and constant. So, coefficient of x is a1, y is b1 and the constant is c1. Similarly, the coefficient of x is a2, y is b2 and the constant is c2. Repeat the first two, repeat the coefficients of uh, x and y, a1, a2, b1 and b2. Strike the first line and apply the rule like this. This is called the rule of cross multiplication. Now, x divided by b1 c2 minus b2 c1 is equal to y divided by these two, c1 a2, c1 a2 minus c2 a1 is equal to 1 divided by multiply this to a1 b2 a1 b2 minus a2 b1. Now, this is the step that is it very simple. See here write down x, y and 1 in the first line below which write down the coefficients of x, y and constant in the first line and the coefficient of second equation in the second line. So, a1, b1, c1, a2, b2, c2 that is a1, a2, b1, b2, c1, c2 repeat the coefficient of first two that is x and y a1, a2, b1, b2 strike the first line and cross multiply x divided by b1, c2 minus b2, c1 is equal to y divided by c1, a2 minus c2, a1 is equal to 1 divided by a1, b2 minus a2, b1 if we equate first and last so, from this we can write x is equal to the coordinates of x is equal to just bring this to the numerator we will get b1 c2 minus b2 c1 b1 c2 minus b2 c1 divided by a1 b2 minus a2 b1 this will give the value of x. Similarly, the value of y the coordinates of y is equal to this goes to the numerator equating second and last c1 a2 minus c2 a1 divided by the denominator is same a1 b2 minus a2 b1. So, these points x comma y are called the point of intersection of the two lines right. This is how we are going to apply the RCM to find the point of intersection for the two lines very important concept right. Now, let us move on to a small example. Let us take a first simple example find the point of intersection of the straight lines. What are the lines given here? 3x minus 4y is equal to 1 and 5x minus 7y is equal to 1. So, the given equation can be written as 3x minus 4y minus 1 is equal to 0 and another equation, second equation 5x minus 7y minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this is of the form x, y and constant, x, y and constant. Now, applying RCM, the rule of 
cross multiplication write x y and 1 so coefficient of x is for the first line it is for the first line 3 for the second line 5 3 5 and coefficient of y is minus 4 and minus 7 and the constants are, are minus 1 and minus 1 repeat the first two that is repeat x y coefficient that is 3 and 5 and then minus 4 and minus 7 now strike this first strike this now cross multiply these two these two just multiply and uh, subtract so that is x divided by minus into minus plus 4 ones are 4 minus minus into plus minus 7 ones are 7 so see here x divided by minus into minus plus 4 divided by minus into minus plus plus into minus minus 7 is equal to y divided by multiply these two. So, minus 1 into 5 is minus 5 minus into minus plus 3 is equal to 1 divided by minus 3 into 7 is minus 7 into 3 is minus 21 minus into minus plus 5 4 is a 20. That is it. Okay. So, very simple. Write x, y in the first line below which write on the coefficient coefficient of x and y for the two lines are 3 5 and minus 4 comma minus 7 and the constant terms are minus 1 minus 1 repeat first to 3 5 and minus 4 7 strike the first line cross multiply x divided by 4 ones are 4 minus into minus plus into minus minus 7 y divided by minus 5 minus into minus plus 3 1 divided by 7 3 is a 21 minus into minus plus 5 4 is a 20 now this can be written as x divided by 4 minus 7 is minus 3, y divided by minus 3 plus 2 is minus 2 is equal to 1 divided by 20 minus 21 is minus 1. Now, equate first and last that is x by minus 3 is equal to 1 by minus 1 minus x is equal to minus 3 therefore, x is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 is the first point. Now, equate second and last y by minus 2 is equal to 1 by minus 1 minus y is equal to minus 2 y is equal to 2. So, therefore, y is equal to 2. So, therefore, the point of contact the point of intersection therefore, the point of intersection is the point of intersection point of intersection p x comma y is equal to what is x? x is equal to 3, y is equal to 2. This is the point of intersection for the given line. That is it. This is how we are going to find the point of intersection of two lines using RCM method. Hope you followed. Now, you suppose if you want to verify, you just substitute this value in any one of these two equations. So, if you want to verify for verification, So, take any one of these two equations, take the first equation 3x minus 4y is equal to 1, put x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2, 3 into 3 minus 4 into 2, that is 9 minus 8, 1 is equal to 1. So, that is it. This is how if you want, it is not required to verify, just to check whether the answer is correct or not, we are going to do verification. Now, more to the same type problem, find the point of intersection of the straight lines 3x plus 2y minus 5 is equal to 0 and 4x minus y minus 3 is equal to 0. So, this is already in the standard forum. Straight away apply the RCM using RCM applying RCM first write x, y and constant. So, x, y and 1 write on the coefficient of x is 3, 2 and minus 5 coefficient of x y and constant is 4 minus 1 and minus 3 repeat the first two that is 3 4 2 and minus 1 then strike the first one apply the cross multiplication like this now that is x divided by minus 2 3 is a 6 minus into minus plus 1 5 is a 5 y divided by 5 4 is a 20 minus 20 minus 3 3 is a 9 minus into minus plus 1 divided by 3 1 is a 3 minus 3 minus 4 2 is a 8 that is x divided by minus 11 y divided by minus 11 1 divided by minus 11. 
Now just what's the answer we got x by minus 11, y divided by minus 11 and 1 divided by minus 11. Take first and last, x by minus 11 is equal to 1 by minus 11, what happens? x is equal to minus 11 by minus 11 that is equal to plus 1, x is equal to plus 1. Similarly, second and last y by minus 11 is equal to 1 by minus 11 cross multiply y is equal to minus 11 by minus 11 is plus 1, y is equal to 1. So, y is also equal to 1. So, therefore, the point of contact, point of intersection, point of intersection, point of intersection is x comma y is equal to 1 comma 1. 1 comma 1 is a point of intersection in this case, that is it, okay. Hope you followed. Now, move on to the next concept. What is the next concept? To find whether the given lines, three lines are concurrent, that is the condition for concurrency of the lines. To find the concurrency, whether the given lines are concurrent or not, any three lines are concurrent. So, to verify whether the three lines are concurrent or not, just find out the point of intersection for any two lines. Find out the point of intersection of any two lines and substitute that point of intersection in the remaining other line. If it is equal to 0, then we are going to say that the three lines are concurrent. That is the condition. Now, let us straight away move to a problem. Show that the lines 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0 and 4x plus 5y minus 45 is equal to 0 and 7x minus 8y plus 5 is equal to 0 are concurrent. They have verified the concurrency of these three lines, whether they are concurrent or not. Just apply RCM for first these two lines, 3x minus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0, first line and the last line that is 7x minus 8y plus 5 is equal to 0, find the point of intersection, point of contact. So, just substitute that point of intersection in the remaining line 4x plus 5y minus 45 is equal to 0. If it is equal to 0, then the three lines are concurrent. Now, just what is the RCM? x, y and 1. Coefficient of x is 3 and 7, y is minus 4 and minus 8 and the constant terms are 5 and 5. Repeat these two, 3, 7 and minus 4 and minus 8, okay. Now, strike on, strike this, just cancel this and cross multiply like this, okay. Now, this can be written as, that is x divided by, x divided by, uh, just multiply, 5 fours are 20, minus 20, minus, minus into minus plus, 8 into 5 is 40, y divided by, 5 sevens are 35, minus 5 threes are 15 is equal to 1 divided by 8 threes are 24 minus into minus plus 7 fours are 28. Now, just simplify this. Now, that is x divided by 40 minus 20 is 20, y divided by 35 minus 15 is also equal to 20, 1 divided by 28 minus 24 is 4. Now, first and last x by 20 is equal to 1 by 4 and y by 20 is also equal to 1 by 4. So, therefore, x is equal to 20 divided by 4 that is equal to 5. Therefore, x is equal to 5 and here y is equal to 20 by 4. So, this is also equal to 5, y is also equal to 5. So, x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 5 are the point of contact. So, therefore, the point of intersection, point of intersection, point of intersection, p x comma y is equal to phi comma phi, phi comma phi, right. Now, to verify the three lines are concurrent or not, let us take the re remaining equation. What is the remaining equation? This is the remaining equation. Now, from 4x plus 5y, from 4x plus 5y minus 45 is equal to 0, 4x plus 5y minus 45 is equal to 0. If we substitute the value of x and y in this equation, 
If it is equal to 0, then the three lines are said to be concurrent. Now, put x is equal to 5, put x is equal to 5 and y is also equal to 5. 4 into 5 plus 5 into 5 minus 45 is equal to 0. 5 4 is a 25, 5 is a 25. What is this? 25 is 45 minus 45. So, 45 minus 45, 0 is equal to 0. That means the three lines are concurrent. Therefore, the lines are concurrent. This is how we are going to find the concurrency of a three lines. So, the three lines are concurrent. Follow. So, that is regarding the concurrency of a line. Now, let us take one more problem, similar type problem. Now, if the lines 2x minus y is equal to 5, kx minus y is equal to 6 and 4x minus y is equal to 7 are concurrent, find the value of k. So, same as that of the previous problem, just find out the point of contact, point of contact or point of intersection between any two lines and substitute in the remaining equation, you will get the value of k. Now, let us apply the RCM for apply, apply RCM for rule of cross multiplication for 2x minus y minus 5 is equal to 0 first equation and third equation 4x minus y minus 7 is equal to 0. Now that is write down x, y and 1 coefficient of x is 2, y is minus 1, constant is minus 5, coefficient of x is 4, y is minus 1 and minus 7. Now repeat the first two, 2, 4, minus 1, minus 1, right x, y, 1, write on the coefficient and repeat the first two, that is coefficient of x and y. Strike the first line, this is gone. Now, multiply, cross multiply. Now, let us simplify this. x divided by, x divided by, 1 into 7 is 7 minus, minus into minus plus 5 ones are 5, is equal to y divided by, 5 fours are 20, minus into minus plus 7 twos are 14 is equal to 1 divided by minus 2 ones are 2 minus into minus plus 1 fourths are 4. Now simplify this x divided by 7 minus 5 is 2 y divided by minus 20 plus 14 is minus 6 1 divided by 4 minus 2 is 2. Now equate first and last x by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 therefore x is equal to 2 by 2, x is equal to 1 and the second and last y by minus 6 is equal to 1 by 2, y is equal to minus 6 by 2, y is equal to minus 3 therefore y is equal to minus 3. So therefore the point, the point of intersection, point of uh, intersection is equal to 1 comma minus 3. Point of intersection is 1 comma minus 3. Now, just substitute this value of 1 comma minus 3, put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 3 in the equation, put x is equal to 1 and y is equal to minus 3 in the remaining equation. What is the remaining equation? kx minus y is equal to 6 in kx minus y is equal to 6, k into x is 1, y is minus 3 is equal to 6, k plus 3 is equal to 6 or k is equal to 6 minus 3 that is equal to 3. So therefore, the value of k is equal to 3 in this case. So the value of k is equal to 3, that is it. So this is how we are going to solve the problems based on concurrency of line, hope you followed. So, that's all regarding today's session. Let us meet with different concept in the next session. Thank you. Thank you very much.